Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I am super excited to be back today with another bins haul video. Guys, I have been loving going to the bins. The Goodwill Outlet is an amazing place for me to source inventory for my Poshmark closet because I'm a full-time reseller, so I thrift a lot of secondhand items and I find amazing pieces and then I give them a new life by reselling them on Poshmark for a profit, and this is my full-time job doing this and showing it to you guys on YouTube. It is so much fun. So behind me, you'll see about 50 items in today's haul. I picked all these up for about $80 or so. So I paid a little bit over a dollar per piece. And I am super excited about some of the pieces in here. All of the pieces should be reselling for at least $15 to $25, some pieces up to like $150. But we have a lot of amazing pieces in today's haul. So let's go jump in to what we have to resell. But first, make sure you guys are also following me on Instagram because I show a lot of behind the scene sneak peeks over there. But the first item that we have today is this really cute little moth sweater. So moth is a brand that's sold at Anthropology. So I found this sweater in the bins. So this is the moth tag, that's what it looks like. And I believe this is in a size small. Yeah, so this is also in a size small and has this little these little snaps going down the front, which I think is cute. And then this kind of green textured bow. It's a cardigan sweater actually, and I just love it. I think it's really well made. It has some really nice seaming and this is a really fun detail. Just a nice little cardigan, and I sell quite a bit of Anthropology. I find Anthropology in the bins quite often. It's one of my greatest bread and butter brands. I don't find it often new with tags, but I still am able to sell pieces like this for $35 all the time. So I'll probably list this one at $35 and then hope to make between $25 and $30. And sometimes I sell Anthropology outright for $35. And this piece is so cute, it might just happen. But I picked this up and I would definitely always pick up Anthropology from the bins. And if you're unfamiliar with the bins, it's where you pay per pound instead of per item. So you're digging through through bins of clothing and you pay at the end per pound. So I pay $1.49 per pound at my local Goodwill outlet, but it might be different for yours. But the second piece I picked up in today's haul is this really nice plaid button up. Now, this is from the brand Ralph Lauren, not even Polo Ralph Lauren, just Ralph Lauren, which is even better. Ralph Lauren sells really well for me. Polo Ralph Lauren also sells well for me. This is in a size medium and this is their blue label, which is really good. So I got this in the bins probably for, well, I mean, for about $1.25 or so, $1.50. And this is a really nice piece. It looks honestly really oversized for being a size medium, which is kind of um, confusing to me. But this is a really, really good color scheme. The plaids that have red in them really do well for me. And about this time last year, I was selling Ralph Lauren and Polo Ralph Lauren like hotcakes. So I was happy to find another piece in the bins. And this is a men's piece, so that will do even better because girls and guys like to have a flannel for the fall. So this is a great piece. I'll probably list this around $50, maybe maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on what I see the comps look like. And as always, comps will go up on the screen for you as well. The comp prices I list are what I am hoping to sell these pieces for, or what I'm hoping to list them to sell for. So I'm always going to be probably taking an offer a little bit lower than those prices. And that's why sometimes they're a little bit adjusted for that. So. This piece, I'll probably list around $50, but this is a great piece, and I always pick up Ralph Lauren, especially in the bins, but sometimes they mark this up really high at thrift stores. Now, this next piece is a lovely vintage dress. I love finding vintage pieces. I just love giving them new life, and vintage is really popular right now. So this piece is such a cute little floral dress. I would say this is probably about a mini length, definitely past the knees, and it has this fabulous little lace collar. It might be crocheted. Eh. I think it's lace. So lace collar, this is by the brand J Jamie Brooke, but this is in a size 22, which is amazing. So it has buttons going down the front. I tied a little tie in the front, but you could tie it also in the back. But I love finding plus size pieces and finding plus size vintage pieces is very difficult. So I definitely wanted to get this for my plus size ladies out there. It also has shoulder pads. Like this is such a steal. For some lady out there, I just know how difficult it is to find plus size pieces in general, let alone vintage pieces, because vintage pieces usually run small. So I got this piece, and again, we paid between a dollar two dollars for this, and I can probably list this between 35 and $50, and then I'll hope to sell it for at least 35, 
but I know I have a lot of ladies watching me that are plus size so just want to let you guys know I am looking out for you too if I find plus size pieces man I pick them up <laughs> and then next up we have another really cool vintage find I love picking up vintage pieces because at one point they were in style and I love to see the trends come back around you know like not everything that's in a store is cute you need to be able to think for yourself you know but this is a really cool green kind of windbreaker longer jacket but this is from champion so this is a vintage champion kind of windbreaker long jacket and then we have the champion logo both on the arm as well as on the front and i just love this color scheme it's so 90s to me i love that it has the hood and it has the little adjustable drawstrings zipper down the front and this is in a size large but this is what the tag looks like Definitely a vintage tag. You can tell by the stitching on it. And it is really nice, has pockets. I don't really see any flaws or any stains with this. So I probably will put this up on my store for somewhere between $50 and $75. It'll definitely depend on the comps that I look up. But this was a super cool piece. And like for a jacket like this, heading into fall, heading into winter, definitely going to hopefully sell quickly. So I'm gonna get pictures taken of that ASAP because this is a cool jacket. Now this next piece is this really beautifully colored linen top. It's gonna be hard to tell on camera because I'm also wearing green, but this is more like a lime, like it's very, very light, but also like fluorescent. It's very hard to describe, but it has these kind of little eyelet details cut out throughout it. We have a little peephole on the back and a flutter sleeve super cute and this is by the brand simple with a y and i've not heard of this brand before simple new york city simple simple nyc i have not heard of this before it's in a size medium and this is 100 linen so that's why i picked this up even though i didn't know the brand i knew linen is so popular i did think that this was a pretty cool cut to it and with that linen and that green the, that green color is really hot for the fall and winter i thought it was worth picking up for a dollar or two um, I'm not really sure about this brand in particular, but I think I probably can sell this for like 25 bucks. Now it'll let me at least 10x my money. But do you guys know the brand Simple? If you do, let me know down below where it's sold and if it's a good brand to pick up or not. Also, can we talk about how much volume my hair has today? I just woke up like this and I was like, dang hair, where you been at all my life? But this next piece is this Michael Kors little blazer. I found this in the bins, guys. Now, Michael Kors, this is Michael Michael Kors. Michael Kors, I am often passing on in a thrift store because even though Michael Kors is a designer piece, it's more of like a mid-tier designer. It's not like a super expensive one, you know? So I have been passing on it a lot because thrift stores don't really know that. They just mark up anything designer to the same level. So in a thrift store, I probably wouldn't pick this up, but in the bins for a dollar or two, yeah, for sure. This is a nice chocolate brown little blazer jacket. And then all of the buttons also have Michael Kors written on it. I thought that was really nice. This is in a size 12, a good size. We like to pick up sizes that are a little bit bigger, especially for outerwear. And this is in really good condition. There are no flaws on it. It looks like it's really well made. And then this is also a wool blend, although it does not feel like wool which is weird. So it's 49% wool for the exterior, but it's just kind of like a nice little jacket. If you are a working woman, I feel like this would be a great jacket for you. And brown and just like chocolate brown in general, very popular color right now. So pick this up. I'll probably be able to resell this. I'll probably list around 50, I would guess, and then hope to make like 35 on that. Okay, next up, I found two little Nike tank tops. I don't, I, I pick up Nike if it's in the bins. I don't often pick it up at other times, but this is a cute little just Nike running tank top. And this is dry fit. They're both in a size large. So we have a red kind of marled red and grayish color one. And they both have the swoosh here at the bottom. And then we have kind of a light bluish gray color. So each of those I'll probably be able to resell for somewhere between $10 and $25. I'll probably list, I'll probably list them separately, even though they're definitely donated by the same person. They're exactly the same in cut and the size. So I'll probably list them around 15, maybe 20, and then hope to make at least 10 to 15 from each one. Those probably weren't my best pickup, but they were so light, they helped to balance out and bring down the cost of every single piece, which is nice. But now let's rapid fire some bottoms. I love picking up bottoms in the bins because usually I feel like bottoms get marked up at all the local thrift stores, but, <laughs> but they're hard to hang on my hangers. So I'm just gonna have a pile of them and we're gonna run through them. But this first pair is this pair of kind of like Bermuda shorts. And this is from the brand Cabbie. And I like to find Cabbie. I pick up Cabbie for a good price. And these are in a size eight. And these are a navy blue color. They're very nice. They have buttons over here on the back pockets. 
They are a good length. They also have the little button closure that goes off to the side. Very cute little pair of shorts. And I probably could resell those for about $25 to $35. This is my first time selling cabbie bottoms, so we'll see how it goes. And then I have been passing on a lot of BDG lately just because I've been finding it everywhere. But I'm going to start picking it up again. We're going to see what we can do with it. This is a BDG for Urban Outfitters little black denim skirt. It's in a size extra small, which is a dangerous size. Very, very tiny. But it is a really cute little black skirt. Holy cow, there's so much stuff all over it. It's like, it's attracting lint like it is its job. And it's doing great. It's going to get promoted. So it's got these buttons going down the front. And it's a really cute little skirt. So... I am going to have to wash this again because I cannot handle all the things that are stuck to it. But for this little skirt, probably about 20 bucks, maybe. I'll probably list it between 15 and 25. Hope to make like 15 to 20. And then this is a brand. I don't know if I picked up Conon in any of my videos, but this is a pair of Conon denim jeans. So this is what the brand looks like. And one of the reasons why I picked this up is because of its fit. So a high 90s, and this is in a size USA 4. For jeans in general, the 90s fit has really been trendy right now. I'm, I'm thinking of even like Everlane has a high 90s cheeky straight jean, I think. that I think something around that kind of titling is an actual name of one of their pair of jeans that's really popular. So like a 90s fit is definitely popular a really high, high waist. This one has some distressing on it, some little holes. It's a really nice color, kind of just like a charcoal black color. They're in great condition and they are a nice little skinny leg. So I thought that they would be worth picking up to try out. My guess is I will probably list those around 25 to 35. Hope to make like 20-ish bucks on those. And then I accidentally picked up a pair of swimwear that I didn't know were swimwear, but these are uh, Club Penguin. No, not Club Penguin, dang it. I said it again, original penguin, a pe original penguin swim shorts. And they have the little penguin guy right there. And these are in a size 33. So these are a pair of men's swim shorts, but I grabbed them. This is one of those fast grabs that I just didn't have time to sort through. But for those, I like, maybe can get $15 still. So that wouldn't be too bad, especially for how light those were. And then I picked up a pair of Tommy Hilfiger kind of little khaki shorts. These seem really short to be a men's pair of shorts, but I do believe they are a men's pair of shorts. They're in a size 35, and this is what the Tommy Hilfiger logo looks like on these. But I just thought these were a really cool pair of shorts. I originally tried to get these to get Jeremy to wear them. I think they're too big for him, but they are pretty cool, and I like the pleating on the front. I do think if this was a girl size, I think they would look really, really cute worn high-waisted on a girl. So, and we'll maybe sell those between like 15, 20 bucks. And then we have some more Champion. I find Champion all the time. People just leave it and I am always picking it up and Champion is selling for me all the time. So these are both pairs of sweatpants and this one is in a size large. These are a nice little sweatpant and they are burgundy. So they have the very elastic waistband. We got pockets and this is like a thick pair of sweatpants. They're super cool and I sell things like this all the time for like 25 to 35 bucks. So we'll probably list at 35, hope to make 25. And then this pair might be a little bit more desirable because these are actually a jogger. So a little bit more of a contemporary style. Those ones might actually be vintage. These ones are in a size medium and they again have a very stretchy waistband. And then we come down to a tailored fit and a jogger style. So really cute. And they both have that little champion logo embroidered on there. Super nice. And these again, 25 to 35, probably less at 35, hope to make 25. Now let's head back to the rack because I have some Banana Republic sweaters here. And these are men's Banana Republic sweaters. I pick up Banana Republic if I get it in the bins because I can usually sell Banana Republic somewhere between like 15 and $25. These two, since they're sweaters, I'll probably list at 25 to 35. This first one is this really nice kind of tan khaki-ish colored sweater and it has an elbow pad here on the back, which I think is really fun. And it's just this kind of plain sweater, but it is by Banana Republic. It's in a size medium and it still has the tag that you're supposed to cut out before wearing on it. So it does feel really new. It looks really good. So I thought I'd give it a go. And then I also found this one. I think this was in the same bin, same size. It's a medium, but this is a black sweater, just kind of a thin sweater. It's also 100% cotton and size medium as well. So. These ones both have the dots underneath the Banana Republic, which means they probably came from the Banana Republic factory, if I remember that correctly. But still, maybe 20 bucks for those after everything is said and done. 
I'll take it. It cost me like a dollar or two. So that would still give me quite a bit of profit. And then this next piece is this really beautiful colored sweater from J. Crew. This is this beautiful purple. I love this color. It's very, very bright. It's beautiful. It has a dry cleaners tag still attached to it. That is one of my best tips for going to the bins. If you guys have not seen my bins tips and tricks video, then you should go check that out. But this is just such a pretty color. This is in a size small, and this is just a nice wool blend sweater. Some lady wearing this to work, I just feel like would look really nice. So grab this beautiful purple piece, and again, probably 25 to $35 for this as well, maybe leaning towards the 35. And then we have this nice little striped top here. It is a sweatshirt kind of material, very thin though. And this, I think, is the last piece that I found in a pile that had a Patagonia piece on top, and then all these other pieces were from Anthropology. Such a nice pile that I found in the bins. If you guys haven't seen the other videos in this series, go watch some of my other bins, thrift hauls, and thrift with me's. But this is by the brand Wasabi and Mint. And this one, I had to look up. It looked like something that they would sell at Anthropology, and indeed it was. It's a size medium, and it's just this like nice little v-neck kind of casual sweatshirt with more of like a dolman sleeve almost and so i just thought this was a nice piece i thought i would pick it up for a dollar and for sure we will sell this five to 35 on this piece as well and then i found two different little athleta racerback tank tops so these were in two different bins but the same person probably donated them both same size, everything about them is basically the same. This one is this beautiful, like light purplish pink color, and it is so cute. There's a lot of fun little details on it throughout, like a lot of sculpting, which looks really nice. And this is from Athleta in a size small. So that's what the tag looks like. They're both racer back. I need to throw both of them through the wash because there's some marks on them or some makeup. There's like makeup on the inside of this one. You might not be able to see it. There you go. Um, and so I need to throw them through the wash, make sure that kind of stuff comes out. Not a huge deal. This only has makeup on the inside, but I want to make sure that they are in the best quality they can be before I send them out. But this one has kind of like this fun, almost, almost like snakeskin texture to it. Very interesting. And this one's also in a size small, even though they're the same size and everything, I'll probably list them separately. And then I'll probably charge, I'll probably list them at 25 a piece and hope to make at least 15, 20 bucks on each one. And then this next piece is such an odd find and I don't even know how to price it. I'm not really sure what it is, but I had to pick it up because it has a famous artist and his work on here. So this is like a little pink polo shirt, but it features Andy Warhol on it. So it has a signature from him on it and his famous Campbell's soup can. And it says pop art is for everyone. And then it's by the brand Andy Warhol. And again, pop art is for everyone, size medium. And then also underneath the collar, I found this when I was putting this on the hanger, it also has his little signature there, which I think is cool. Like if you pop this underneath like a denim jacket, had that sticking out, especially if you were an artist. Oh my gosh, I thought this was so sweet. No idea, no idea how to price this. My guess is I will try to do a lot of tags about like art and the artist community and pop art and like, I'll use Andy Warhol's name a lot, but guys, is this not kind of cool? Like Jeremy thought it was kind of weird that I bought this, but like maybe it's the artist inside of me that's like, yes, everyone knows about pop art and everyone knows about all these artist things. And I don't know, I thought it was cool. So I picked it up and maybe I'll charge like 25 to 35, maybe more for this. It really just depends on what I can find about it. But I thought it was cool. I thought I'd share it with you. I love niche things in the artist world, so I hope you guys do too. Okay, now we have two more little polo shirts. I didn't mean to put all the polos together, but this first one is a little Lacoste polo, and this is a women's fit. This isn't a size 40 by Lacoste. I get confused with their sizes quite often. I believe this is a small or medium, probably a small, um, but this is from Lacoste. We have the Lacoste tag here and right there. The only times I've ever bought or found Lacoste have been in the bins, so I have yet to sell any Lacoste. Maybe I should stop picking it up, but for so cheap, it's just like, why not give it a try, you know? Um, but I'll probably sell this 35, 25, somewhere around in there. And then the second piece that I picked up is this spur top. And I looked this up while I was in the bins because I didn't know if this would sell, but the tag looked really nice. Like something about this typography and this square tag looked really nice to me. And I do believe when I looked this up, it did have a good resale value. I'll put that up on the screen for you guys. I believe it was at least $35. So hopefully it will be so, but this is like a long sleeve 
and it has a very interesting knit to it. This is a dark navy blue. I thought that was cute, so hopefully we can sell both of those. And then I found this really cute little vintage tank top. I think this is adorable. This gives me such 90s vibes, but this is for the Steelers, which is a great team to find things for. This is the actual NFL line, the For Her NFL line. So right there it is. It's a size large. A women's size large that is cropped and has a shelf bra, you know? So uh, yeah, shelf bra included in there, but it also has all this really cool stitching along all the yellow. It has Steelers over and over again. We have adjustable straps. I thought this was super sweet. I think this would be really good for a college student. Like this is adorable. I think somebody that's a size small could definitely pull this off as well. So it fits size like extra small to large maybe medium, but it's a super cute piece. And for maybe a buck, I think I could resell this for 25. So we'll try to aim to put it up for 25 and then make like 15 to 20. And then we have another really cute little vintage number. I love this. I love knitting and crochet details. Crochet is really big right now. It's like all over. Anthropology has a lot of crochet things out right now. And it's really cool going into fall. Like imagine this with a white turtleneck underneath it and a really cool little hat. Like I think this could be really cute with some high-waisted flare jeans. Like it's got a really cool like 70s vibe to it. And this is by the brand, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly sure what brand that is. The size tag has been ripped off. My guess is I would say this fits like a medium. That's what I will probably list it as. It's really nice dark blue, a little knit vest, and I think it's adorable. So I grabbed that for a dollar and we probably can resell this between 25 and 35. And then I also grabbed this really, really bright green little shirt. It is a button up. We have buttons at the cuffs as well. It's a beautiful green color. This green is super popular right now. But I picked this up, not for any brand or anything. This is by the brand Silks. <laughs> so it's by the brand Silks, but I picked it up because it is 100% silk. It is a size large and it still had that dry cleaning tag attached to it. So I knew it was made up of good fabric content. And so I thought I'd pick this up. I'll probably just list it as kind of like some trendy tags. It is a very trendy piece. Like imagine that tucked into some jeans, like very cute, great color, great size. This is a men's large, I would say. So I think this would be a really nice piece and it's really high quality. So I'm going to sell it probably for 25 to 35 again, even with all, even though it's not a particular brand I would pick up, I'll probably just mark it as vintage and then go from there. But love this piece. And I think somebody, somebody cool is going to buy this. Like you have to be cool to pull this off. And there are a lot of cool people out there. Okay. Now I am not a scarf gal and I don't pick up a lot of scarves. But I did pick this scarf up because this is one of those things that was from this designer consigner store. I found a ton of these things in one bin where they came from some sort of consignment store. So they were selling this for $18.99 at that store. This is from J. Crew, and it is just this really kind of cutesy scarf. It's got these little blue polka dots in it. It's just a repeating pattern. And I mean, I feel like scarves um, have had their moment but they are coming back around, especially amongst an older, more mature generation. I feel like they kind of still have a place. I think they're kind of cute. This one, again, for it costing me a dollar, I thought it was worth a try. And I'll probably list it between 15 and 25 and hope to make 15 on that. And now I'm going to rapid fire all of the sports clothing I picked up. I find a lot of sports pieces in the bins all the time and I love to pick them up. So I picked up two, I think two or three children's pieces and I just thought that they were so cute. I had to, I could still sell kids pieces for probably about 10 to 15 bucks, um, especially for something like this where it is an actual like brand. This is a little baby Red Sox little zip up hoodie, which is so cute. The inside of the hoodie is a baseball. We can't, we can't handle it, right guys? <laughs> but this is in a size two. I don't have kids. I don't know anything really about kids. I don't know what a size two is equivalent to probably two years. I don't know, but it's all embroidered on here too. So I thought that was nice. So I grabbed that and then I grabbed this size 2XL Phillies t-shirt, probably list that 15 to 25, make 15, $10 on that. And then I grabbed this Philadelphia Flyers t-shirt. It's really important to try not to grab the ones that are like free t-shirts. Um, I probably do that sometimes too, but I got this one and that is in a size large and is the NHL brand, which is good. And probably be able to sell that between 15 and 20 bucks. And then we got this really cool NFL, actual NFL tag. Always be on the lookout for that um, t-shirt for the Philadelphia Eagles. 
And I actually know this sports team I'm so excited. And this is for the 2002 NFL, NFC East Division Champions. So it's dated, which is helpful. So it's really cool. It's a vintage, almost vintage. One year away be from being vintage. That's crazy. Little t-shirt. So we probably can get like 25 on that piece. And then I picked up this women's little Notre Dame t-shirt. This is definitely a women's cut. I hate women's cuts. Is that just me? Do you guys hate it when people mark things as women? Like, why do they make women's cuts? Why can't we just all have the unisex, more boxy fit and love it, you know? Maybe that's just me. Do you like a women's cut? Please tell me if you do, because I don't know anybody else that does. But this is from the brand Champion, and this is in a size medium. So I got that, and we'll probably resell that for around 20 bucks, probably. And then another little kid's piece is a Philadelphia Eagles little hoodie pullover, and this one is super cute. And this is also in the NFL, actual NFL team brand, which is great. So I got that, it's the kids, and this is a size large. So it also says seven in parentheses, but I thought this was a really nice little hoodie. So I grabbed that. And again, these little things are helping bring down the cost of everything in total. So I'm not mad at it at all. And then this one is just a Nike dry fit MLB long sleeve, which I thought was really cool. And this will be able to sell probably between 25 and 30 dollars so that's really nice and this is in a size medium if i didn't say that and then the last kids piece i picked up is this really cool kind of vintage nike little zip up and i didn't realize this was um, a girl's piece at the time because it looks kind of large you know but this is a girl's size medium 8 to 10 and this is an older nike tag so i grabbed this and hopefully we can sell this still for at least 15 bucks and again for 15 bucks i'm still 10xing my money so those are all the sports pieces, back to the rack. This might've been a bad grab, but we all had bad grabs and that's okay. I don't want you guys to think that I only pick good things because we all know I do not. Sometimes I pick a stinker. This is a little swimsuit top. It's a tankini top. It's really cute. It has a little tie for the back of the neck. I thought it was sweet. I don't remember picking this up, but this is from the brand Dream Suit, which I have never heard of and it's in a size eight. Now, at first I was like, oh, I picked this up because it's plus size. It's not plus size. I pick up plus size swimsuits all the time and I sell those well, but I don't know dream suit. I don't know why I picked this up. Maybe I did look up comps. Let's hope I did. Um, but I have no idea what this could sell for. Comps will be up on the screen. Let's hope for 15 to 25. I can deal with that. This is pretty light, right? So um, there's that swimsuit piece. I thought it was a cute cut to it. So Hopefully that will help redeem it as well. And then this next piece is this Brooks Brothers little button down. It's got a pinstripe to it. It's really nice, just a white with a gray pinstripe and Brooks Brothers right there. So I know that this first number, that 17 is for the neck size and then the 35, I forget if that's the chest or if that is like length, but this looks too big to be a normal 35. So I'm not quite sure what the sizing is on this. But for Brooks Brothers, I don't normally pick them up if I have to pay up for them. It's because they haven't been selling for that much, even though they're a very expensive brand. I definitely decided to pick it up since it was in the bins for like a buck. But would I pay 10 bucks for this? Never. So um, this is a nice piece though. It looks like it's in really good condition. It's just for pieces like this that are more like men's everyday wear to like an office. Because of the time we're in, they're just not really selling for me. But I thought I'd pick it up anyway for a buck. So I grabbed this and hopefully we can sell it for like 25, 35 bucks. And then I picked up this little airy little bra. This is a strapless bra. Strapless bras tend to sell well for me. And so I thought I'd pick it up. It is from Aerie. It has this cute lace to it. It gets confusing because I feel like it should go up, but it definitely does not go up. It goes this way. So this is from Aerie and it's in a size medium. So I thought I would give this a go. I probably can only sell this for about 10 to 15 bucks, but I thought, I still thought it was cute and I think it should do well. It has the middle on the sides. If not, I could probably take this to a buy, sell, trade store and make a couple bucks off of it. So that's also good too. Next up, this is a super cool find. I love finding big jackets like this, like vintage sports jackets do really well for me. This one has some marks on it. I don't know if they're from the bins or from before the bins. So I'm gonna throw it through the wash, do some state treatment and hopefully get everything out. But there is the Philadelphia Eagles little embroidered logo at the bottom. And it actually is like a shiny one, which is cool. This has the starter as the pull, which definitely decides for me too that this is vintage. Starter was a team brand for NFL for a while there. So this is definitely vintage and it's in a size large. Definitely oversized, kind of got a, like a windbreaker, nylon feel to it really cool sleeves and then we also have a huge eagle on the back so this is a super sweet piece 
if this had no flaws i could sell this for over 50 dollars easy since it has some staining i'm hopefully gonna get it out if i can't get the stains out probably like 35 but i would say more like 50 75 even up to 100 if i can get out the stains because it is a really cool vintage piece and we're heading into the right season for it but if you guys find vintage pieces like this vintage windbreakers or anything that is like nfl labeled super great pick them up if you can get them for a good price try to get that price down but man so cool hopefully we get the stains out and then we just simply found two simply southern t-shirts here this first one is just this really bright pink one this is in a size small and it just has this really cute little picture on the back about footprints when you see only one set of footprints it was them that carried you and i just thought that was really cute so i picked that up at the bins for like a buck and i I sell Simply Southern quite often for about 15 to 20 bucks for a t-shirt. And then this other one is a lighter pink and this is also in a size small. And then we have this on the back. Salt water and sunshine cures all. Just thought they were really cute and very um, Southern girl. So I grabbed both of those. And then we have two more pieces of clothing and two more pairs of shoes. And that will be the haul. Lots of things in today's haul. This is a really cute little cloth and stone pink shirt. Has a slight v-neck to it a really nice just pink color cloth and stone can be sold at anthropology i'm not sure if this piece was or not i also did not see this mark on it until i was hanging it up right now so i don't know if i got that on it or if it was like that from the bins i will try to get that out but if i can get that stain out probably like 25 to 30 bucks for this piece and i just thought it was super cute i love the pink and i think it's a really nice little layering piece for sure and now we have this piece that I am debating if I want to keep it or give it to a friend of mine. But it is this really cool Vans jacket. Like, how cool is that? Vans, I don't traditionally pick up because their resale value isn't super high. But this is a really cool jacket. It has snaps going on the front, the Vans logo, and then this really cool checker printing on the bottom. We also have some pockets with some layers to it. But I just thought this was a really nice jacket. I'll have to look up comps and you'll see them up on the screen, but my guess is like 35 to 50 probably for a jacket like this. I've never bought Vans stuff brand new though, so I'll look up comps and you'll see them on the screen for what I think I can list this for. If it's not very high, I'm probably going to give it to my friend. You're going to see my friend Liz go thrifting at the bins with me here in the near future, but her husband loves Vans. So we'll see about that. Let's see first what the comps look like. Okay, we are down to the last two pieces. The first one is this pair of little cheetah print boots. Now these are not the best brand in the world. These are just from Target. These are from A New Day. But I thought that this was so cute that the aesthetic was going to sell these. These are perfect for fall. These are a super cute piece and they're in a size nine. Honestly, this is my size and I love them. So I might just keep them for myself, but I can probably sell them for like 20 bucks, honestly. For something from Target, that's a really good return. But also, look how cute they are. Aren't they adorable? I love them. And then the very last thing I picked up was this pair of Diesel shoes. Now, I did not realize that Diesel shoes had such a high resale value. I didn't realize that Diesel in general had a high resale value. They're made from a denim material, and they also have the Diesel up here on the front of the tongue. And they have this really good bottom. Like, it looks really nice and really, like, it has a lot of grip to it. So I grabbed these and they're called the Surefly and they're in a size US 10, European 43. So these are a men's 10, but I just thought these were a really nice pair of shoes. So I grabbed these and I probably can resell them for probably at least 50 bucks. Um, but we're gonna look at comps, you'll see them on the screen. But look at how cool these are. I just thought this was a really nice pair of shoes. So grab those, should have a good resale value as everything in this whole haul should. I should probably be able to turn this $80 into at least 800. That's the hope, right? We want to 10x our money on each piece. So thank you guys for being here and for being able to share this haul with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.